Hey guys, I'm Mari Ray, and welcome back to more of The Sims 3 Adventurism Challenge. Now, last episode, I said I was going to take the money that they had, and I was going to go and update the resort. And I did do that, but I don't think we're going to open it just yet because I still want to add just a bit more to it. I, I know, I know, I'm being really picky. I don't really know what resorts take and I said I was going to research and I did research and I know there's like, you know, having all the food tables and having some stuff to do there and stuff and, and I looked into that and I did some stuff but I don't think I want to open it just yet. So I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what I've done and I realized that I've never put up a speed build of this. Why? Why is this here? That's weird. All right, I'm gonna have to fix that. But um, I realized I haven't put up a, it's over here too. Jesus, and it's back here. Oh my God, why does the game like to do this to me? The game hates me. It's fine, I'll fix it all later. But I realized I haven't put up a speed build of this and I'm sorry about that. I um said, I kept saying I was gonna do it. And every time I sit down and I edit the resort, I do record by the way. So it's not like I'm not recording it or anything and you never get to see it, it's just that I always forget to edit it and put it together and at this point it would probably be extremely long because of how long I've edited it and how much I've done and it's nowhere near done yet but basically yeah so this is all I did so far so you guys get a sneak peek I don't know if I'll actually post it or if maybe we'll just do like a tour of the resort when we're done because it it takes me a while and since I I'm actually going into the resort blind most times and I have no idea what I want to do with it I'm fiddling around with it constantly I have no like floor plan or anything like that and actually when I came back to edit it again I was like what was I planning to do with this layout I don't even remember but yeah this is what I've done so far so in here we have all of the buffet tables we have oh my god everything's bad quality that's fine we'll oh my god they're flies you can hear them buzzing ill all right we're gonna have to fix that uh before we open officially but um Basically, we have all of the resort tables in here. So we have the breakfast table, the lunch table, the dinner table. And over here, I think this is the vegetarian table. Yeah. And then we have the kids table and we have the dessert table in here. So we have almost every table. I think there's eight. We have six. So we're missing two of them. But eh, I think we might be fine with that. I don't know. But we have that and we have the dining area in here. There's a couple bathrooms right here. Um, there's this, I plan on making this into like a sitting area right here. Um, just because I have no idea what to do with this room. But that's what I plan to do here. And then upstairs, I plan on putting like wedding stuff up here. Because I read that that helps a lot. So we're going to create like a little wedding area venue place up here. Maybe put like, you know, a little dining, a little smaller dining area for just the wedding party. Or like the cake and stuff over here. And put like the wedding arches and stuff. I think that'll be really cool and you can also have some like dining tables outside for the wedding party it it is it's it'll be cool when we get there but we're not there yet and then over here i plan on doing like a game room slash like little nightclub type area so it's kind of dark in this room i plan on calling it like deep blue you know i don't 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 hate on my corniness okay i know my corniness is like on 10 and it's amazing don't hate don't hate but yeah it's gonna it's gonna be called like deep blue like you know onto the sea deep blue and i'm gonna have like a karaoke bar up here and like a bunch of video games and like a nate nate night late night bar you know stuff like that up here is what I plan to do. Down here is going to be a gym. Obviously, this is the front desk and the entrance right here. Um, I don't know if I'll leave the resort. This is like a, a rabbit hole rug, so it acts like a resort tower, so I don't actually have to buy a resort tower because I don't know where I'll put a resort tower. But basically, I plan on either leaving that there or putting it over here. These are obviously the VIP rooms, which, albeit, I got kind of lazy and I legitimately just kind of copied and pasted the layout in both. I was originally going to do like a different layout, but then I was like, I don't feel like doing that so I didn't but this is still a work in progress so it's possible for me to change stuff up nothing is set in stone just yet but I don't think I want to open it just yet because I don't I don't know I feel like there's not enough for people to do I suppose so we might have to do just a bit more like I want to maybe get which I have more money and I could do but I do want to hold on to this because I think I'm actually going to make them travel um maybe this episode because um I think I want to see just how much money I can get. And I think last time, I I don't know where I said I was planning on making them go for their next trip. I did say I would make sure to bring Omar. We're not going to leave Omar behind this time. But I don't remember where I plan to make them go. I also realized that I've been rambling this entire time. So let's get to playing this freaking game and I'm going to shut up. So Omar just woke up. Let me make sure I turned on my um free will because I don't think I... I I turn stuff off sometimes when I'm like building and crap. Uh, one, we can turn the- oh wait, no, not mute it. The music is on. I thought I turned it off, because when I'm built- yeah, it is off. 
All right, sorry about that. Just had to make sure I turned on my free will again because I typically turn things off when I'm doing other crap in this game and I did in fact turn it off. So, Omar just woke up. Um, why don't you clean out the bad food here and um, I don't care what you eat for breakfast. Just eat some cheesesteak. <laughs> I know, I know, sweetie pie. Don't worry, just go downstairs and, and handle that, okay? Go downstairs and handle your food. I think... Yeah, so then I think what we're going to do is maybe get Lu Lucas to um, turn on these seashells and stuff. And we're going to plan to to travel this episode. Because I want to go back and travel again. Because I want to make some more progress on the some of the tombs. And I want to find that oh, oh. mystical item from China that can break giant rocks. Because apparently we discovered that, that thing was a thing a long time ago. I was going back and sort of like brushing up on some of the earlier episodes of the challenge. Because it's been a long time since I actually went back and like watched the beginning of the challenge. It was so cool thing where we came from, by the way. But I mean, it, it's like we did run into before the big, huge rock in an earlier episode. And it told me then that we need to get this thing from China. So I'm thinking we might go back to China mm -mm. because I don't. Do we have anything? We do mm. have an adventure in China. Mm. Mm -mm. And we haven't gone back there in a long time. So maybe we'll go back to China. I think we will go back to China. Um, this episode here. I know, Lulu babe. I'm sorry. Go eat. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Go eat. Just go eat a cheesesteak. It's cool. You're cool. You're fine. You're fine. Um, Omar. Okay, buddy. I think what we're gonna do with you, since you are now an alchemist, our alchemist boy, you go research some alchemy, you know, get that good research skill going, and mix an elixir for us. Let me check and see if this jerk at the elixir store is here. Because I swear, he's never here. Why? Why is my game hanging up like that? What are you doing, game? Oh my god, don't do that. That was a stupid hang-up. I don't know why I was just doing that. It was being dumb. Um, let me check, though, if this guy is at the elixir shop because he's never here. And it pisses me off to no end. And he's not here. And I mean, it's 8 a.m. What are the rules for elixir shops? Does anybody know? Like, why... Why is he never here when I want him to be here? Like, is he... Is he, like, broken? Is this shop broken? I don't know, but, like, I never see him. Why... Why are there weird taxis just hanging out outside? Alright, I'm gonna stop asking questions. Lulubert! Sweetheart, um... Sorry, I changed your thingy. Go turn in the seashells that you have. I'm pretty sure we were planning to do that, right? You should be fine. Go turn in the seashells that you have. Um, Omar's studying some alchemy, and then I think we're gonna go ahead and travel after that. So there won't be much to see. As soon as she turns in the seashells, we're gonna head to China, because that's where I want to go. So I'll see you guys once we get to China. All right, you guys, welcome to China. Back to China. Actually, now that I think about it, this was the first place we took Omar when he first joined the family. And actually, it was where he wanted to be all romantic with Lucas for the first time. I believe that they both have something here to do in China. She needs to meditate at a garden, which I don't think she is capable of doing just yet. Yeah, I don't think she can meditate just yet, so she still has to practice on her martial arts. And Omar needs to meet some locals. So since they both have a goal in mind and what they need to do, we have five days here on our trip to make up the cash money that we spent to get here. So Lulubird since she has a mission, is going to immediately head over to the Garden Academy place whenever I find it. It's around here somewhere, right? Um, over here. Okay, cool. The meditation garden. Is there a place for her to practice here or is this just a meditation garden? I thought there was like a little training place here. I might have to go to the place next door to do actual training. It's just like a... Okay, yeah, there is. So she's going to come here to the meditation garden. Omar is going to head to the shops, I think. Because he needs to talk to three different locals. So let's go to the market. All right, so let's do this. We have a plan. She wants to meet a local. You probably will. Omar wants to meet a local. You definitely will. So we will most certainly promise that mission. She is going to head over to there and we're going to get her started on practicing uh, some martial arts because she needs to in order to get her skill up enough to meditate. Omar, my buddy, you are already... Wait, don't... 
don't don't do that. Omar, why are you being a douche? You're such a rude dude, I swear. Give him a charming introduction. Don't yell at him. What is your problem, Mr. Man? He's just so angry all the time. Whoa. Well, that was weird. The game decided that he was broken and they reset him. That's interesting, I suppose. None of the merchants are here. The game reset all of the merchants. I feel like this is the plate that was here the last time we were here. Which is crazy. But where are all the people? Bring me the people. Here's a person. Is this the same dude just reset? Wepe. Let's give him a charming introduction. No, he's a teenager. I thought he tripped into the water. I was going to laugh so hard. He is technically walking on the water, which seems a bit wrong. Okay, well, that guy is just like completely like blew me off, which is fine. So he's chatting up this guy though. How you doing, Omar? Good? Good? Are you guys besties? Are you besties? Are you besties yet? He still won't he still won't do the thing you asked him to do, Willie. Oh wait, no, he did. I think it worked. Okay, yeah, he convinced this guy. Cool. Let's go chat up this dude now. Um let's go give him a charming introduction. Don't be rude, Omar, because you you have a habit of being very rude to people. So, let's give him a charming introduction. Be charming. Lucas has taught you much and she taught you to be charming. Not to be rude. It took her a while and I still feel like you do it anyway because it's just you. Just in your nature. Friendly. Get to know him. Let's uh, ask him if he's single. Let's chat with him a bit. Let's... Uh, um, oops. What was that? I, I don't care. Actually, I could have left that there. I don't care if you ask him. It's fine, but it's cool. Tell him a funny story. Um, get to know him again. Discuss your adventures a bit. And then let's see if we can convince him. Lulabird, how are you doing, sweetie heart? There's her bar. It came back now. Look at that. She's getting up there, but I don't know how high she needs to be in order to get the meditation. She is level four. Maybe five. Hopefully five. It'd be nice if it was five. I mean, I want to be able to finish this mission because I want to try to find whatever this item is that gives us the ability to break big rocks. Well, she used the... Okay. That's fine. Why don't you go play chess with this lady? I mean, you want to meet... You want to meet a local. I know, I'm sorry, babe. Actually, fishing is not a bad idea because you also need to get the fish in China here. And find uh, friggin' bugs and insects and stuff. So let me, after you sit down, because that will fulfill your wish, let's go look for... Um, insects. Ooh. Does this count as meeting a local? Did you meet a local? Do you know her? Wuzio? Let's do this, because I, I want that more than this. She's about to get that skill point, so let's do that. She's gonna go fishing for a bit. Omar, how are you, sweetheart? What are you doing? You good? You good? I think he's good. Can we trust you, Omar? You being good? You're being good? He's being good. He got number two. Alright, so let's talk to this guy now. Last one, Omar, I promise. You can do an amusing greeting now, so give this guy an amusing greeting. Uh, and then, oh, we can only pillow fight with him? Why? Why can't we talk to him? Is this the dude that we already chatted up once? Lui Pei? No, it's not. It's a different guy. There are children here? Hello, children. Oh, God. Hello, children. Look at his bowl haircut. Um, he doesn't have a very good relationship with this guy for some reason. I don't know what happened between you guys in the past, but let's, let's let bygones be bygones. Why don't you be Luke, um, not Lucas, it's Omar's friend. Jeez. Um, I'm so used to doing this crap with Lucas. Discuss your adventures. Um, what else? Oops. You know what? I don't care. Ask him a sign. Be weird. I really genuinely don't care. Don't be romantic with them though, because I don't think Lucas would like that very much. I don't, uh, I would say learn a song, but I don't want you to just yet. I just kind of want you to finish this mission. 
Um, make a silly face. Okay, we're full with the cube, so let's let him finish up one or two. Maybe it'll work. Hopefully it'll work. Did you get the thing, Omar? Did you... You didn't get to ask him. Is it because of this lady? Look, lady, I don't care that you're hungry or whatever. I was busy talking to this guy. I was busy talking to this guy, so you need to get out of the way so that I can continue to talk to him and convince him to leave his lights on. Is it gonna work? It worked! Why don't you go report in? Lulubird, you want to see a supernatural. That will indeed happen as soon as you head back to base camp and run into uh, Omar. Any more fishies you catch? I don't think so. Why don't you go pee like you started to? Uh, Omar, buddy, once you're done uh, turning in this mission, let's see if there's any more to this. No! Cool, and we got 800 bucks for it. That's what I'm talking about. Lulu, as soon as you're done, why don't you head back over to the base camp? Omar, let's follow you, buddy, because you, you kind of have to pee, and I don't want you like, pee yourself, which, I mean, it might happen. I'm not going to say it won't. All right, cool. So you are going to run upstairs and use the restroom and unclog it. It's clogged. Really? You guys clogged the toilets up already here? I mean, he could unclog it, but I'm not going to make him right now. So he's going to use the restroom. I don't think there's a place for you guys to sleep, is there? Like, in the same bed. I think you guys have to sleep separately. Oh no, there's one here. Look, you guys can have like your own private room up here, because that's the room we're sleeping in. I don't care if it's taken by somebody else. I really don't. I really, really don't. Okay, uh, Omar, buddy, I want you to, um, Genie, summon some food. Sorry about that, my game completely just like closed, but I love the fact that you can summon some food. Um, why don't you egg rolls? I think, I think I clicked the right thing. If I didn't, who cares? Don't, hey, don't. Turn it down, too loud, too loud. Oh, Lucas, I was gonna make you eat, sweetheart, but since you decided that you didn't want to, socialize with the supernatural, um, I was gonna make you eat, but... Omar! Omar! Babe. Babe. Eat the food. Grab a plate. Actually, Lucas, why don't you share your food with him? Just give him a piece of that. You know what? We'll just do that. Um, why don't you put away the leftovers? Omar, come here. Just, just eat a piece of your food. You guys can share her dried food. I got this beef jerky. You want a piece? Since you want to socialize with the supernatural, let's go chat it up with Omar really quickly. Ask him about his day, his adventurers. This should fulfill this wish, and then you guys can head to bed. Every time, you guys, I am not kidding you. Every time, every time, I, 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 I expect it at this point. I expect it. Well, since... It's like that. I guess you guys can go woohoo, and like we always do, we whiskey woohoo when we woohoo. You know how we do. Um, oh. Oh, that's right. Because we're not in the base world, it reset back to default. I have no way of changing that. Whenever we risky woohooed back in the default world, it was always 1% chance. It was like a super low percentage because it was like the last thing on my mind, but now it's higher. But I said every time the wish rolled, we were going to play hardball or not play at all. So I have to stick to my guns, you guys. It's still a low percentage, but... Oh, gosh. Um, that's... I got to stick to my guns, and there's no way for me to change it, because I'm not placing a city hall here, so... Is, is there a computer? I can change it there. I mean, I think I can change it there. It's... You, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna- we're gonna roll the freaking dice. Okay? We're rolling the dice. Let's do it. Let's do it, you guys. If- what happens, happens, okay? Oh god, that's- that was- I forgot that that's a thing. That this is like a totally separate world here. Oh man, that's... 
scary. Scary, that percentage was way higher than what I normally do. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. It was way higher than what I normally do when I roll the dice back at home, but... I mean, what happens, happens, right? We stick to our guns. I gotta stick to my word, or, or what am I, right? So, um, I'll catch you guys in the morning, though, and they'll continue on their adventures. All right, you guys, good morning. Omar is awake here. He wants to prepare a meal. I don't think you have anything to do that. If you did, I would let you. I mean, I don't have a problem with that, but I don't think you have anything to do that with. So, uh, with that being said, Mr. Omar, why don't you do the very, very handy-dandy magical thing and summon us some breakfast, you know, like, like, manifest us some grub here because that's always fun and always useful. Uh, where is some good breakfast food? You know what? Eggs. Eggs. Um, I forgot what the last word is. I don't know. That. We're summoning that. Nice. Why'd you put it on the floor? Nobody knows. Let's go downstairs. Plop it there. You guys can get some breakfast going. Why don't you uh, grab a plate? Lulu bird, you're sore, I know, from all that training. And you're going back to training today because you need to get that um, wish for happiness. Babe, I thought we discussed this. He keeps telling you, I am not, I can't do that anymore. And she's just like, can't I though? Can I wish for this? No, you can't, Lucas. She just, I feel like that's how this... Every time, you guys, every time, like she sits down and talks and that's what it is. He wants to group up with Lucas. I want you to group up with her too, because you know what? You don't have much to do today. So why don't you guys go to the, um, the, um, academy together every time, every time you guys, it's, it, it, it never fails. It never fails. These are evenly matched and that one's easier to do. So it, it it never fails. Every single freaking time. And it's dangerous here, Lucas. It's dangerous because the percentage is higher than when we're at home. You can't keep rolling wishes that, like, that are, are dangerous for me as a player. <laughs> You're trying to make me crazy, aren't you? Aren't you? Are you done eating? Or are you just talking? Okay, she's not done. Mm. This lady must be like a party animal. She's been dancing like all night long. Oh, night long. I'm not. He's just like, hey, hey, hey. I feel like that that would be how all of my sims would just react if someone started dancing. They've made it. Does this count as grouping up? It actually just straight up counts as a date. Like it didn't even try to not be a date it's just like it's a date it's totally a date so why don't both of you guys practice martial arts seeing as she i think needs one more to be able to do what she needs to do so both of you guys what omar what what is this what is this omar please answer me what's going on with this right here something something something's not right here do you notice what's wrong omar hmm? 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 It's alright. He should correct himself once we're done, but that's hilarious. It's because whenever I edited him, I guess it didn't edit his, um... It didn't edit his, his martial arts outfit, so he's... So he's got a genie's outfit on, and it's kind of really, really funny, but you know. You know. Lulu has gotten the... Oh, she can meditate now! Yes! That's what we need! She needs to do this for two hours. Um... She's getting smelly. Let's just let her- let's just let them train until they're tired. You know what? Just- just go. Just go for it. Let's just fast forward and let them train until they're tired. She can meditate now. We know she can, so we'll get that meditation in. I don't think she needs to be not fatigued to meditate, so... Okay, so Lucas is fatigued already, so she has stopped. Beat someone in a ranked sparring match. He's not tired just yet. Um, probably will be in a second, though. I think he is. Okay, there he is. He's fatigued now as well. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Fix yourself. Thank you, Omar. Um, Lucas broke the toilet. You guys just break everything and everywhere you go. You know what? Since you want a woohoo, let's, let's get it out the way now. You guys, this 10% actually scares me. And 10% is a really low percentage, but... In my mind, it's high because, like, I'm used to doing this at, like, 1% where there's, like, probably a zero, nearly zero percent chance of it ever happening. So 10% is way too high. And what, what happens if, if it, it, like, I said I'm going to roll the dice, though, and I'm going to stick to my word 
because that's what I said and that's what's gonna happen. You know, I'm not going to go against what I said in the beginning of this, which is that whenever the wish pops up, we're gonna roll the dice. If we're gonna play, we're gonna play hardball, okay? Like, <laughs> why did I make this promise to myself? I don't know why. <laughs> why do I promise you guys things and have to stick to my word? All right, you guys, good morning. Omar is the first one awake and he's hungry as always. And he's sore from working out the day before from playing, not playing, but from using the thing. This episode can't go much longer because I'm running short on time, but I do want Lucas to go ahead and get that meditation done in the morning. So let's let Omar spawn in some food. I think we might be lucky even though she's wanted to like woohoo twice because she hasn't gotten sick. So, I mean, to me, that's good, I guess. Or, I mean... I said I was going to play Risky and that's the way I've been doing it. Why did I do that? Nobody knows. I I think I might have like a a problem. I don't know. I think I must like to make my lone life difficult because that's exactly what I chose to do when I said we're going to play hardball every single time. Why? Why'd you say that, Mari? Nobody knows. Nobody knows at all. But he's going to summon some food here. For everybody, uh, let's put it downstairs because I don't want it on the floor in your bedroom. That's weird. So let's put it downstairs and then um, he's going to go grab a plate. When Lucas gets up, she's going to grab a plate. Why do you constantly want to wish for stuff? He is already free. Omar would prefer to stay that way. Please try not to lock him back inside of the genie lamp so that you can fulfill that wish again. I don't think he'd like that. So she's going to eat some grub and then I want her... You guys, you guys, do you see this? You, you guys see it, right? I mean, you see, if you, just, I, <laughs> you are one of the craziest, Lucas. You want me to, you want me to, don't you? Oh my God. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, I'm a doofus. So she was supposed to meditate at the garden and yeah, she wasn't at the garden. So I made her come here. Why don't you go practice? Maybe you could catch up to Lucas and uh, martial arts. But she wanted to meditate at the garden or had to meditate at the gardens. And I was making her meditate in the middle of the floor at their place. So whoops, my bad. Uh, she's at the gardens now. So why don't you meditate right up here? Because this is a cool place to meditate. So just sit down and get your zen. Lucas, get your zen. That's good. Just zen. Just breathe. Full of zen. She's going to meditate for two hours, though, and then we're going to turn in this mission and see what's next. Okay, guys, welcome back. Lucas has just finally meditated for two hours that she needed to. She actually wants to meditate for two hours, but she can do that later. Um, what is this? She wants to cook Omar's favorite meal. You don't know how to do that, sweetheart. Sorry. Um, I'm going to let her in there date because... Um, She's going to run off to go turn in this mission so we can see what's next, if there is anything that's next. And Omar's just going to keep practicing, I suppose, and they can meet up for, like, dinner, I guess. Uh, but I want to see what's next in this mission before we end the episode. So I'm sorry, it's going to probably be a bit of a long one because I've been recording a bit longer. Though there should be some stuff I can cut out. I know there was a lot of junk in the beginning that's, like, useless, but I'm sorry if this goes a little over. I try to keep these as sensible in time as they can be even though i want to keep playing trust me i do i really want to keep playing and i do normally keep playing i just you know don't want to make the episode super long Ooh, look look there's a relic thingy here let's go do that when you're done i should be queuing up more stuff because i keep saying oh look omar's made it to level five now he can also meditate he caught up with you that fast lucas he's giving you a run for your money girl He's getting, he's catching up with you, you know? Okay, so there is another part to this. Uh, you have had the most startling and unexpected vision. I knew that you would see something. I did not know that you would, that you would see this. This is the keystone to the ancient monk retreat. Use this key to enter the tomb and retrieve the ancient relic. One that contains the ancient writings of Qin Shan Hu. Bring this to me and I will reward you with ancient coins. Okay, so we actually got a tomb mission, and we're gonna go do that. Um, I see she got some visa points, and she's level two! What? What? So Lucas has now made it to level two of the China visa. She looks super tall because she's standing on a slope, but it's kind of bizarre. But, like, yeah. 
She made it to level two. She's uber hungry. So she's going to actually go grab a bite to eat with Omar in a second here. He's still... Oh, no. He's done draining now. He's done. But, yeah. So they're going to go grab a bite to eat and stuff. And um, I think they're. I'm just going to let them, like, sleep for the day. And then I'll catch you guys in the morning tomorrow where we can start the tomb um, in the next episode, though. Because I'm going to end this episode here. So, um, made some progress. Came back to China. Had some... Some risky, risky, risky woohoo because it's way riskier than the risky that's my risky. Uh, 1% was my risky and that's a very low chance. But when we're here, I can't edit that percentage. And I said and I promised that every time we're going to do it, I made it very, very clear and I can't back down. And I didn't think about that before we brought Omar back here as our love interest because Lucas has a problem. <laughs> Every time she speaks to the guy that comes up, I mean, I don't know why she hasn't just wanted him to be her boyfriend at this point because she just constantly wants to, like, jump the guy. But, I mean, whatever floats her boat. I mean, Lucas has her agenda, but um, I will end this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That is up to you, but I do hope that you guys will join me next time for more of The Sims 3 Adventure Sim Challenge. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.